Okay. Hey guys, here we are. We out. This is my. <gasps> Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. We are just doing our Monday thing. I was just doing the dishes and I started feeling like I need to sit down. So Peter took over for me. Say good morning. Good morning, guys. He took over the dishes and I am folding the laundry. Where is it? Oh, there's the laundry. Just doing our thing. Happy Monday. Okay, I tried the whole resting thing. That didn't work too good. I just don't feel great, but here, Peter's gonna take it and tell you exciting things. Well, I went and got propane. Wasn't that exciting? Vacuuming is done, for now, anyway. And I think I'm gonna try to redo this a little bit. I've removed the like spring flowers. Well, I guess I should take those off. Um, those are no longer, I don't know. Those are more like springy. I've realized that my china cabinet has turned into like a flower cabinet for all the off-season flowers. But I'm kind of okay with that. Peter just brought up the fall box and we were deciding whether it was too early to switch out the welcome mat. But I think we're gonna leave the summerish one for now. Do you wanna show them our favorite find from Target in the dollar section? Look at these little pumpkins. They're ceramic and they were a dollar a piece and they're so cute. What you making? Hmm? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, what you making? Oh, I didn't hear <laughs> You're making barbecue chicken? Barbecue chicken. Uh, potatoes. Our friends are coming over, so we are making some food, and the sun is like right about to set, and it's gorgeous. Hey guys, we had a fun <laughs> evening with uh, having some friends over. It was the friends that we lived with for a year and a half, is that how long it was? So fun to just sit and have dinner with them and Mary is she was doing her best but now she's got to do her nasal rinse yeah oh the CF sinuses oh yeah oh I was like sitting there doing my best like oh oh so I'm like, oh, forget it I'm pausing the vest I gotta go do this anyway you look really stylish wearing this vest with um without it inflated you know yeah it's definitely a fashion statement yeah. this is my sinus nasal sinus bottle she does that instead of the, uh, well it's the same brand, the Neil Med, but instead of the like, poor neti pot, she likes the, the teapot thing. Yeah. And it's like, yes! Like, it's more powerful. Mm-hmm, and so, more productive. Technically speaking. Just saying. So, Mary did get sinus surgery once, and that was, um, she had a bit of a rough recovery from that. I don't think and, I ever recovered from that. And her sinuses, Went ahead and filled right back up. So we've we've weighed the cost. Here we go again. <laughs> cost versus reward, maybe. Is that what you mean? Cost versus benefits um, of doing sinus surgery for her, and we just don't feel that it would be <coughs> uh, worth the cost of it. I have a tricky body, and. Um, I also have low platelet count, so any surgery you really have to like take into consideration. And he was like, until you are in like excruciating pain from your sinuses, I mean, obviously, yeah, it was just like, he was like, it's not, your recovery, it's just not. Yeah. And I mean, this is Mary's case and it's different for everybody. Yeah, I know some CF patients who go in, get a sinus surgery, they have recovery time, but pretty quick. And then it like but it's helps. very productive, yeah. And that's awesome. And that's what we expected. Yeah. But. It would be nice if we could do that because your sinuses 
do get pretty infected. Hey guys, I'm just working on shipping some packages. We talked about doing the Not My Arms Challenge where I am Mary's arms putting the feeding tube together, but I can't see and we'll s it's like I'm operating as Mary's arms. So I think that would be pretty funny if we uh, try to make that happen. So here you go. Okay, we're trying to get set up for the Not My Arms Feeding Tube Challenge. Okay, so let's just give this a try for like two seconds and see if it's gonna work. Ooh, I'm cold. So then you just hunch down a little. Yeah, it's that perfect. That works? Yeah, look at it. Okay. Hey guys, here we are. We, ow, I hit myself in the face with my very long fingernails. <laughs> okay. We are here to bring you the Not My Hands Feeding Tube Challenge. It is all the rage on YouTube right now. So I just wanted to get on here and do it for you guys. So this is what we're gonna start with. So here's how I set up my feeding tube. Um, first I start by shaking the formula. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Okay, so I, I set these down and I like to make sure that I peel the, uh, I go ahead and open up the, the formula so that it's like an open canister so that it can spill easier um, while I do this process. So I'm just opening these two up. I'm just gonna, am I doing a 500? I'm doing a 1200 milliliter bag, but I'm just gonna start with two, two cartons of formula for now. And this is my, <gasps> oh, no, don't let me taste it. Actually, maybe I should do taste test for the first time. Should I? Ew, okay, pick up the carton, don't I want to? Ew, ew, okay, ew. So, am I actually about to taste this? I don't even know if I can handle this. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick, but I don't know if I want to do this without my husband. I think he should be a part of the taste test as well. So maybe we'll bring that to you at the end. I'll bring that to you at the end of this challenge. Stay tuned. It's okay that I'm dripping some. I mean, that's kind of part of the... Huh, I'm very scared about this. It, it's really explosive sometimes. There is this piece that's like perforated that I'm trying to find. Aha! There it is! All right, so I just pull out my, I'm using the 1200 milliliter bag tonight, and um, I just pull it out, there it is, in all its glory. I think I should move my can, or well, I guess we're gonna need it right now. All right, so here is my formula, and I'm going to be putting it inside this hole right here. All right, that hole, this formula, and here I go. I really hope I don't spill on myself. I did perfect. perfect. And it's filling up the bag, so you'll see it just kind of getting a little bit bigger. And, all right, and ta-da, 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 there we go. Okay, next I'm going to be putting another 250 mLs in this hole right here. Okay. <laughs> Line it up and pour. It's all right that about, okay, about to overflow, but I got it. Okay, no biggie. Miss Piggy. Okay. So, as I fill, <gasps> overflowing is normal, so I'm just going to keep trying. So, that's about as full as I can make it until it overflows again. Okay, that's good. I've got 500-ish. About 12 mLs are on the table, but we will work with what we've got. So next I'm just going to cap it off here, and it's really difficult. Mm! Okay, I got it. All right, now that we've got sticky hands, let me 
get a drink because what goes better with sticky hands than opening up a can? Oh! Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow! That sure is fizzy on my glasses. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's exciting. Next, what I'm going to do is good thing that this pump is waterproof because water and liquids are plentiful right now all over us and me. Me. Us. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is how I hook up my feeding tube. <gasps> Pump, set, okay. It's basically like feeding tube soup right now on the table. This is working out well. Okay, and I found the hookup part. All right, just put it in here. Boy, this is slippery. Okay, now I pull it. All right, now that it's hooked up, but I do need to hook up my relaxer. Oh boy, it, it usually goes this smooth every single night, so that's, that's good. Yeah, I guess you could call me a professional at this. Okay! Wow, it just keeps going, going, going. Aha! There it is, that's the end. Oh, this is my favorite part. Okay, unscrew the white part. Next, find Relizor. This is an enzyme cartridge that I'm hooking up. First, I'm gonna to try to open it with wet hands. This should be fun. But first, I'm washing my hands with the soda. Okay, this is working out really well. When you're making a YouTube video, you just go for it. You don't think about the cleanup later, you just go for it. Now that I've got the Relizorb cartridge, okay, this is a squirrely business. Next. I'm just gonna screw in, oh wait, that's not there. Oh, there we go. Clear onto purple and purple onto white. This is the white part, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna screw this on and there it is. I hope you can really see how very wet everything is, but it's also got a really nice odor. That formula smells great. Okay, another one of my favorite parts is when the cap, the air pressure builds up in the tubing and the cap flies off. So, oh, that was way faster than I thought. So, oh, that was weird. Okay, I'm looking in the hole. I don't see anything yet. Sometimes it comes really suddenly. So I'm gonna, and stop. Yeah, there we go. All right, that is the last step before hooking it right up to my feeding tube extension. So. I guess that's that. And what I have to say is, I'm gonna do a dance. Ah! Okay, so are we for real gonna taste the formula? It has to be done. Is that disgusting? That's disgusting. I don't wanna <laughs> say you were bad at that, but. <laughs> You're a good sport. Okay, taste test taste before test. we go to bed. Okay, the dribbles out of the bottom. Okay. You have a bomb bucket? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay. Are we doing this? Yeah. I feel like... I feel like we're hands. moving to a new level of marriage. I know. Okay. Ready? And it even says, not for oral consumption. Somewhere it says that. Not intended, I think. Ready? Ready, set, set go. go. I didn't get it yet! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope this gave you a good laugh. <coughs> and as always. <coughs> see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <coughs> oh, that was so bad. I think it was worse than I was expecting. But I think part of the hard part was...
we were drinking like the bits from the bottom, so we didn't know when they were gonna come out. <laughs> until right now. Oh.